And I'm here with Roger Cumble, the best director of all time, my favorite movie of all time, Cruel Intentions. You're very sweet. Yes. Very <laughs> so, Roger, let's put a timestamp on where we are in filming right now. How far are you into filming, and what did you film today? Uh, we are four hours ago. We hit the halfway <laughs> mark of uh, filming after we collided, mm -hmm. and uh, today we're filming um, uh, Tessa's. Um, uh, dress and her entrance into the the nightclub mm -hmm. and, and this whole sequence here is like uh, in the book Tessa goes to Seattle with Vance and Trevor and Kimberly and it's really kind of a nice fish out of water moment mm -hmm. for her. Right so um, when I first finished reading after the book my immediate thought was like oh my god the whole bet this is so similar to Cruel Intentions and right. I spoke with Anna about that earlier and I was just wondering like have you, after you read the the books, did you see the similarities between Sebastian and Annette and Hardin and Tessa? I did. I, I asked her for money, and then she <laughs> said no. Um, it's a common story theme. And, yeah. And I, I thought she did it so amazingly well. Mm -hmm. I, lo I love her writing. I love her book. So I was just ecstatic to thrilled to jump on board this. And I know on Instagram you said you haven't seen this much chemistry on set since R and R since Reese and Ryan. Can you talk about that in specifics? Well, it's just <laughs> I, I I saw it with the first film. It was mm -hmm. like and the first film was more uh, poetic and them getting to know each other and you 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 felt the chemistry when watching that movie and this this is more kind of like an emotional roller coaster this movie. Right. But it was so great that when you jump into something like this where the characters have been established and the actors, that they, these, they, they get along so right. well on screen and off screen, mm -hmm. and the, the sparks fly. Right. Well, when you first announced that you were going to be directing this film via Instagram, you said you were excited to work with your friend Selma again. And I'm yes. just curious, I know Jen confirmed on Instagram that there you guys are kind of working around her health, but I was curious if you could give us any details about like stuff that you're trying to potentially film with, with her. Selma, I love more than life itself. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It's funny, the day I met Anna, I was at the um, MS event honoring right. Selma with, with Sarah, Sarah Geller. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are doing everything possible to make sure that, that Selma as Carol remains in this series. And, right. and first and foremost, right now, we want her to get healthy. Of course. But uh, we ain't recasting. I'll just yeah. say that. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, I also saw on your Instagram that you were listening to the audiobook of After We Fell, which is the third book in Anna's series. Yeah. Is that hinting at anything potential? It, Anna dangles the carrot. No, uh, <laughs> I would love to be a part of this whole series. I just love working with Anna Todd. So. Yeah, well, and I love your message about, like, this is, like, sh the empowerment of women, like, you put on it your is, Instagram yeah. and everything. And I love that you're involving Anna and, like, all of the women involved in the film can you talk about what it's like having Anna so involved on set with you makes my life a hundred times easier because she created this world and she knows the characters mm -hmm. and, and Josephine knows the characters incredibly well she's read all the books so it just makes it easier when we're doing a scene like even uh, we call them Easter eggs like little little things that like only the fans would get right and, try it. and I'm like hey what's an Easter egg and I can ask <laughs> Josephine or hero or Anna, and, 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 and that's what makes it great. But everything comes from a place of like uh, Tessa's empowerment. Right, so we live in a world where fandom is you know, great and it, they want you know, updates every single day, but that can also kind of like hurt sometimes, I know, especially because like we're talking about a book, transferring it to a movie, and sometimes things don't always end up being exactly like the book. So I was talking with Anna about this earlier, so what's the balance of kind of listening to the fans, but also potentially changing things for the movie so that it plays well more on screen? I think what we, it, that's a great question. It was one of our challenges when we started just restructuring uh, uh, the latest screenplay. And, right. You know, it's just, you can't do every storyline. Right. You know, that's, that, if we did it as a limited series like Big Little Lies, that would be another thing. But we're two hour movie, so, yeah. so some storylines had to go uh, and we just focused on the A and B storyline, if that makes sense, you know? Right. Um, yeah. So, I mean, obviously with the events of after the movie, Tessa and Hardin are in a much more like emotional place, especially Tessa. And I'm sure that there's like a lot of emotional scenes, maybe even more so in this this time around. You seem to like like to have fun on set and keep things light, but how is it when you cut after, 
you know, Hero and Josephine have filmed such an emotional scene. How do you keep things light on set after that? I actually find it's a lot, when I'm doing the dramatic scenes, it's a lot easier. I can joke around. Really? It's when I do the comedy scenes that I get very intense and serious because the comedy is all about the timing. Yeah, you and, know, the, and we're trying to infuse the like, like, cruel intentions. We, mm -hmm. you know, I always say this movie is like genre defined. Like mm -hmm. you can't go to the, even though they don't video stores anymore, you don't want to put it in a certain, you know, a drama or a comedy or a romance or, or it, it's everything. That's After has so everything. Great. Yeah, yeah. It does. It does. <laughs> and that's what I was so attracted to this book. Yeah. No. Well, thank you so much for your time. Oh, I really absolutely. appreciate this, and it was like so much fun to watch you guys oh, film today. It's, it's a I'm blast so excited for the movie. I am too. <laughs> thank I am you, too. Roger. Thank you.